Jess, hold on. God, I've been shouting you for ages. Yeah, I just didn't hear you, that's all. What are you so fed up about? Who said I was fed up? Well, it's like that, or you just rather you haven't seen me. I'm just feeling a bit off, that's all. Oh, listen, is this something to do with my dad? Just forget about it, will you? What happened in that barn, Daz? Well, your mates are what? Well, why'd you have to ask? If we are, you'll leave me alone. I'm not saying anything, all right? Just leave me alone. I'm sick of this. I want to know what's going on with you and my dad and this barn thing. What? So you can have a go at him and all? So you do know what I'm talking about, you just won't tell me. Right, fine. I already know, Sam's told me. Well, stop bugging me then. Forget it. If you don't want to say anything. What's he said? Well, Sam didn't know anyway he wasn't there. And your dad would kill him now if he blobs to anyone. Well, it's a bit too late for that, isn't it? I want to know what's going on, Daz. It wasn't my fault. It was dark and everyone was panicking and shouting and stuff. I stabbed Jimmy. You? Look, I didn't mean it, but... Look, him and your dad were... kicking out of Andy. Look, I just picked this thing up. I knew he was lying. If Sam tells anyone else, I've had it. What's he said? Sam hasn't told anybody. I already knew I just didn't want to say anything so I've made sure. Well, to who? Not your dad. Look, he'll kill me, you've stitched me up. Oh, what, so I've got no right to know? No way is he getting away with this. He's battered Andy, terrified you and lied to me again. And God knows what else he's done. No way am I letting this go. Then everyone finds out what I've done to Jimmy. What happens to me then, eh? Apart from your dad thinking I've grassed him up. I'm stuffed, Debbie. Thanks a lot. I've done the top field. As soon as we get back, as soon as we can start on the next one. She spends more time with Emily than she does with me. Must be old Debbie didn't roll up as well. <laughs> hey, darling, look. Your daddy come to see you. Hiya. Hi, Jack. All right. Hey. I bet you didn't recognise me then, did you? How's she been? Smashing. She's a little love, aren't you, sweetie? I hope it's appreciated, Emily, all this you're doing. Oh, I don't need any thanks, Jack. I get enough from Sarah, even though she can't say it. It's all right, we're going down to the park, so me and Alice can have a bit of a chat. Yeah. See ya. See ya. See ya. It not surprise me if that child doesn't know where it is from one minute to the next. Have you talked to Debbie? <laughs> like it, I'll keep trying. Well, you want to get it sorted out, son. The longer you leave it, the further out of the picture you're going to be. Nobody's going to do anything to you. Not unless you start having a go at your dad about that barn. And he finds out you got it from me. Well, what are we supposed to do? Just let him get away with it? Well, that's what Andy says, but what else can we do? Once it's out, I'm the one in the most bother. Not your dad. You're not going to start dragging him back into care, are they? Daz, he won't touch you. I won't let him. I'm trying to find you. Couldn't have been looking very far, then. Your bruise didn't look as bad as it did, anyway. I was wondering what you think about me having Sarah every now and again. Give you a bit of a break. What, you on your own? Well, you could be there if you want. I could think about it, I suppose. I mean, she's my daughter as well. She's your kid when you want her to be. It's not like that. Oh, Andy, just leave it for now, will you? I've got a lot of things that need sorting out. Well, don't you think this is important? You had your chance and you blew it. <sighs> Debbie, I'm trying to do the right thing here. You can't keep having Emily look after Sarah. Oh, just mind your own business. Why are you being so pig-headed? So that you'll understand for a change. Bitch. What's this, a raid? Sorry, am I disturbing you? No more than usual. What's bugging you this time? Same as every time, you. All right. Well, that's all right, then. You told me you were staying out of trouble, you promised me. Yeah? Liar. Were you up at Andy's bar when it got burnt down and I want the truth? Where did you get that from? Just answer the question. Why would I want to go anywhere near him? How about for money? Listen, you are well out of order. Whatever happened to Andy Sugden, and whoever did it to him, he deserved it. And I'll tell you something else. It's a shame whoever it was didn't do a proper job because he's still walking. Now that is all you're getting from me. So I suggest you either shut up or get stuffed. I know you were there. You threaten Daz that he has to keep his mouth shut, aren't you? I'm telling you now. Anything happens to him, Dad, and I'll make sure they get you for what happened in that barn. Whatever you've arranged with your king, mates. That is enough. Sam and Alice are outside. 
Now, I have said all I'm going to say. If you have any sense, you will keep that buttoned. Otherwise, your little friend just might end up behind bars. Do you understand? Hey! Where are you going now? Away from you. You're not even embarrassed about keeping on lying, are you? The amount of trouble you've caused Andy and Daz. Andy? Well, like he's not caused us any trouble. Just keep your voice down, will you? You finish with me from now on, and you can stay away from Sarah as well. What are you looking at? I've got a chicken on my head. You'll be pleased to know you've woken your grandchild. Well, good, good. Turn that off now, eh, Sam? Well, I think it's working. It should be more than said for our accounts. Hey, Emily. It's not good, Sam. There's anything good around here. Where are you going? I'm going for a walk. But well, she's going to need feeding, Debbie. Debbie? If this is about Andy, I don't want to know. Hey, hey, steady on with you. We might not all be getting on, but at least we can be civil. Look, I know you're going to think I'm interfering, but Andy's just trying to do what's right. Yeah, I know it's probably a bit late for that now, but at least give him a chance. He's been pouring it all out to me when he should be telling you. This baby is my business now, not Andy's. And sorry, Jack, but she's none of yours either. Lads can just move on, can't they? Well, that's what Andy's done, and so have I. Andy's just trying to do what's right for all three of you. You said it yourself, though. It's a bit late for that. You getting in or what? Get lost. What were all that about with Jack? I've told you, I finished with you and I mind your own business. Well, as long as you weren't discussing your crap-pop barn theory. You're so pathetic, I can read you like a book. If you must know, Jack was having a go at me about letting Andy be some sort of proper dad to Sarah. I hope you told him where to stick it. Well, maybe I should have passed him on to you for dad lessons, cos, I mean, you're number one. At least he earns an honest living. You don't need anything from Andy Subden. Now, just get in the car, I'll take you home. With you? You just a loser, Dad. You promised me you were staying out of trouble and you lied. That's your right to give me any orders gone right out the window. I don't need anything off anybody. Well, you don't even know where you're going. I told you, away from you. And when the baby wants feeding and change, just get in the car and stop being so daft. Don't think you've won anything. I'm just And don't try and talk to me either. Stop the car. You won't be home Dad, in two just minutes. Stop the car, I need to get out. <sighs> What about Sarah? Don't panic, I won't be long. Andy! Andy! Debbie! Get back in here, stop being so stupid. I'll bring Sarah around tomorrow morning. You can have her for an hour if you want. Debbie! Get in here! I can't. Not tomorrow. I'm working. Right. Please yourself, then. Wait, does it have to be tomorrow? Forget it. See ya. Debbie, right, I'll... I'll come round tomorrow. I'll knock his block off if he does. Pick her up in the morning. Is that meant to be some sort of way of having a go at me? Don't flatter yourself. So if I did torch the barn, this is you getting even, yeah? I'm not even close to getting even. <laughs> 